This here is Beckham's Eyes of Phoenix, full spectrum hyperspectral imager. The unique thing about it is that it's collecting all of its data through one front lens only. Here you see me flying Eyes of Phoenix on board Diamond's DA42 MVP Geospectral in Austria. After the flight, I gave the data to Sohn Anklem of Exogenesis for further analysis. The, the Eyes of Phoenix saves uh, any potential user tremendous time and money because it's so much more efficient, so much more cost effective to image larger areas to save on uh, image processing times with not having to co-register your data. Uh, the, the ISO Phoenix represents a, a significant leap forward in, in hyperspectral technology in general. It starts with having a common four optic, which allows the sensor to produce a single full spectrum hyperspectral data cube from 380 nanometers to 2500 nanometers. The ISO Phoenix has incredible efficiencies com compared to its predecessors and other, other hyperspectral sensors that are on the market. Because of its expanded spectral resolution, it can help anybody who uses hyperspectral data uh, in any application area, whether that's oil and gas and mineral exploration or precision agriculture, forestry studies, and environmental studies. It would also be really useful for uh, forestry applications with detecting things like uh, fire fuels, which is used in forest fire modeling, and invasive species and infestations like ash borer beetles that have destroyed so many forests across the United States and, and elsewhere. The most powerful capability hyperspectral sensors offer is the ability to detect materials that occupy a fraction of a pixel, and to identify those materials and, and assess what percentage of the pixel they fill, but that's traditionally been limited to about 20%. Any material that occupies less than 20% of a pixel is really difficult to detect. But because the Ice of Phoenix has such superlative transmission rates, uh, signal to noise in each spectral channel, uh, and, and such an expanded spectral resolution, it, it will for the first time allow users to break through that 20% barrier and, and detect materials that occupy less than 20% of a pixel. This was just a glimpse into the capabilities of ISA Phoenix. We are always happy to discuss the many different applications of hyperspectral imaging.